Hello, ladies, gentlemen, and beyond. My name is Anima, and welcome to Oxenfree. This looks really bloody cool. Um, I've seen the barest ticklings of it, and uh, one comment that I read about it that was really intriguing is that it's kind of like Life is Strange if the characters weren't uh, more like stereotypes and were more like realistically written teenagers. So I'm excited about that. There's some supernatural elements to it, and um, I looked up the... The meaning of oxen free before I started playing because I thought, hey, I've heard that before. Ole ole oxen free, and that's the phrase that you shout in the event that you don't remember or you don't know what it is straight away because you're like me. Um, <laughs> it's a phrase that basically means uh, you can come out now. If like you're in hiding, uh, like say you're playing hide and seek, you can shout ole ole oxen free, and that'll indicate that the game's rules have changed. Um, and you can come out of hiding. So, yeah, oh, gorsh. And uh, <laughs> that's enough uh, prologue, let's just get onto it now. Let's press start. Oh, hello. Play. Let's do it. Night School Studio. It used to be a military base. Well, uh -huh. it used to be a ranching thing, then it was turned into an army thing, then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. Henry found a station here, I think, for a bit, unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Whoa. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. Man. Wow, that throws you right in, huh? Hey, still with us? Is that me? You haven't said anything for like 10 minutes. Oh, okay. I'm I listening. can watch the hypnotic rolling of the waves and listen to you at the same time. My voice is attractive. Oh, okay, what did I say? Little Miss, I can see and hear things at the same time. The cookies are great on Edwards Island. Used to be great, but you passed. Thank you. So you all moved in? Um... Oh, it's not, me! Not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> they met on vacation in Orlando. Well, he got lost in a... You know, actually, I'm not even gonna tell this story. It's really not worth it. No, wait, what happened? I feel like I haven't heard this. I can interrupt. Got lost in some gardens and he thought she worked there and blah blah blah, they hit it off. Mm. Aww, that's downright adorable. And you guys just met tonight? Yeah, I was, um, I'd been out of school and the timing had just never worked out, so. And what does that make you to her then? Hey, uh, second cousin? Stepbrother? Step <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot that was even a thing. Well, at least you seem cool, right? Cool guy, cool hat. You get a cool new sibling living right in your house. <laughs> Sharing your toothbrush. Wearing your clothes. <laughs> eating your food. Yeah, sure, whatever. I have someone to reach the food on the top shelf now. Just happy to be on the team. Oh, whoops, we said something mean. So, how do you two know each other? Oh, sorry, Jonas. Way back when, like Paleozoic. Grade school era. Young enough that I've seen her in a bathtub and it wasn't sexual at all. I mean, we both looked like little skinned potato blocks. Ah, Ren, why are you <laughs> talking about this? It's humorous, right? It's just interesting. I think it's interesting. Passengers, Check under your seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. Uh, so, how do you it's a recording. They always play. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. This will be like the before shot. They're on their yeah, way. Let's do it. Okay. And it's Jonas? Not Jonah? Yeah, Jonas. I'm sorry, Jonas. Salk, right? Patient zero, AIDS guy. He means oppressor. Whoa. Here's good. Oh, sick. Great. I'll magic erase all the words out and stuff, so don't worry. Hey, Alex, you brought the radio, right? The little portable one? Yeah, of course. Perfect. Can you pull it out a second? Ooh, right trigger. There's the little guy. Ooh, our R1, okay. Radio station. And Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got mono from some track runner or something. Nice. It doesn't matter. What matters is that she's going to say something like, basically, right now, about our thing. So tune it to 88.3 so I can tell her we heard it. Whoa! Which I played because that song's been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But, oh, 
Oh, actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach or whatever we call it now. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band, so hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red-headed bedwetters with baby carrots. Oh, my favorite. Awesome. I was grooving, I man. Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. Dude, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to be mean to him. I actually feel we bad. We must be getting close. There's no radio reception on the island. I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. Mm -hmm. If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Um, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see. Hmm. Okay. That's pretty cool. Oh, look at us. We're so cute. Oh my goodness. Wow, we're cool. Look at us. We've got like Cora colors going on. Man, what the hell? We're dead cool. Okay. Boys and girls. Boy and girl. This ain't city living. This ain't city living. Yeah. Um, anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. Um no thanks. I mean, I literally just said the clean air thing, so... Alex, you can bum one off me if you're empty. Yeah, I'm sure. You're a fellow addict. Yeah. I'm gonna hang out with Jonas. Really? Since when do you smoke? Since it was cool, nerd! I thought you were gonna vomit on my shoes. I ain't gonna dignify we'll that with a response. We'll meet you by the thing. I wanna hang out with okay. Jonas more. Just remember, aim to throw up in the water. I will, don't worry. Here's the smoke if you want it. Okay. The music. <laughs> yeah, we're not a smoker. <laughs> you all right? <laughs> They're filtered. You okay? Okay. I just wanted to hang out with you. All right. My other friend should be up and around the bend. Actually, that. I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but can I have like two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? Yeah. So you can, you know, you can run up and meet your friends. Uh, really? Just wait. Is is something wrong? What is it, what is bud? It? Nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong. It'll just take two minutes, super fast. Okay. All right, bud. <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, can't we just stick together? You're going to have all night to say, like, whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends anyway... We're all going to meet up with them. It's like a buddy system. No, it's it's fine, Ren. Go on up ahead and we'll catch up with you. He's oh, dead! Okay, I guess. Though this is a really strange way to start off... I feel like I'm not making friends very well. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> I'll just be up the hill, in case... whatever. Ren seems nice. He's funny, you know? Reminds me of a guy I know back home. Yeah, I mean, he's harmless. But, yeah, he's nice. That's an interesting Listen, way to talk about him. I just wanted to grab you ahead of time and say you've been cool about everything. And I guess Aww. it's just for me, I, I, I've never moved anywhere. And like getting a new family at the same time oh, kind of like feels pacing. like I'm skipping the training wheels. Not that it's been bad or anything. You and your mom have been great. Uh, we'll make do. Lemons, lemonade, however that goes. An optimist. Oh Christ. <laughs> yeah, I'm an optimist and proud of it. Oh, and thanks for setting up the attic for me. It's cool how it's like a little bedroom. I was yeah, no problem. Oh, we interrupted. I ain't saying anything. Both or everything is bad. I guess your brother, sister, or poor. <laughs> All of those right. things were bad. We'll yeah, get there. Now give it a week, and we'll be like Siskel and Ebert. Always fighting. Yeah, but only over movies. We can catch back up with Ren now. I didn't mean to take so long. Okay. So that's interesting. He's like my stepbrother, I guess. Oh god, okay. Running around in circles. It's very pretty. Can I examine things? Hello? It's kinda kitschy. Right? It's kinda kitschy. Yeah, it's like a uh, quiche. That's not what kitschy means, right? <laughs> uh, I think they block this off at night since... Nobody needs to use it, or maybe they just had a parade? Sure, either one. Uh, if nobody lives here and the stores are all closed, whose car is this? 
Oh, there's always that one lonely car in every parking lot. Oh, that's a sad thing to say. So I guess my impressions right now are that um, it does feel quite realistic. It's quite realistically awkward. I got this <laughs> it's a monument to some submarine that was sunk off the coast. Mm. Oh, do the the um, the radio guide thing they talked about on the boat, you know? Oh. It's what? But one o two point three. Uh, okay, sure. Oops. One o two. They said it's one o two. Oh. Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea. The USS Kanaloa was launched on January 15th, 1941, mm -hmm. and commissioned into service at the end of that year. I've never heard of this before. Kind of creepy in a way, right? Yeah. I hate thinking about it. It reminds me of those scenes in movies where the sailors have to seal somebody up to drown or else the flooding will take the whole ship, you know? Yeah, no, I always thought submarine duty was like the worst possible war assignment. There's nowhere to go if something goes wrong. As well as 12 army... Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea. Okay, we can get moving again. Okay, alright, let's put that away. Park's, Park's office. Facilities office. Friend's sister Allison used to work there. You'd like her. She's tall. Um, alright. <laughs> She's tall. <laughs> she doesn't have personality, she's just an exceedingly long person. Damn, they close up early. I guess mm. no point in staying open if nobody's here. That's a good point. Well, we're here. Maybe I want to buy an ornament or something. Hello, kids. <laughs> Look, the other guys and gals must be further up, so be quick now. Hey, man, okay. see, that wasn't so bad. Redefinition of Edwards Island. This is a tourist trap with shops and a beach. Okay. Nobody lives here except for some geriatric named Mrs. Adler. <laughs> but, as God is my witness, we'll never mention her or any other old person's name again. We are here to drink and be stupid. A tradition apparently started by board recruits in the 1950s who would sneak dates Wait, over Wait, he's my stepbrother. Don't towns. do that. They literally called it trawling. Uh-huh. Wow, that's actually kind of funny. Yeah, it's like kids at camp, or whatever. So, to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark. The beaten path officially ends here. The beach is past the fence. I think Jerry told me that there's a way that you used to get over there, but I'm blanking on what it was. Ooh! Aha! The map! Wonderful! Glorious! For guided to return to station 10 point... Uh, 102.3. Whoa, it's big! This is big, but it's not, large. I mean, it can't be too difficult. Uh, perfect. Oh, good. <laughs> well, just wait a minute and let me think. So, to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark. The town. I think the dumpster will get us over if it'll budge. Well, let's try. Oh, oh, oh! We're solving puzzles. The town's youths keep the whole slink over and camp thing alive and well. No, no, no. I um, I, I got it. Wait, we're not allowed here after dark. So, like, what's our plan if we get caught? We won't! I had to promise Karen I'd shovel her driveway all winter, so she just looked the other way. And the other thing is the weirdo cave. Oh, good! Weirdo cave? That's where I'm from. The whole reason Alex brought her radio is because when you go to the... It's like the front. The mouth. The mouth of this particular cave, <laughs> you can sometimes pick up frequencies <laughs> to stations that don't exist. You'll hear voices or just sounds. Creepy. It's, um, it's pretty creepy. At least I've heard. I did Oh, this is intriguing! The music is nice. Alright. I'm behind this, okay. I'm down. I'm interested to see what's what's going on. 9 p.m. Jonas, I love you! Oh, uh, before we get there, I should I should probably mention that. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Who's that? That's so there's this girl, Nona. Is she the tall She's person? She's just this girl, and I'm totally into her, and I want her to be into me, so just, you know, <laughs> just be cool, okay? No pouting or complaining or anything, alright? Deal? Be cool? <laughs> Don't be like, just how you can be sometimes. <laughs> oh, alright. <laughs> oh, and okay, Jonas, now that we're dumpster buddies, what was the thing that you said to Alex back there? He Do said he smelled bad. Digital tales or something? Uh, it was Just not... leave it alone, Ren, all right? You don't have to hear everything. Yeah, man. I don't have. Reginald, I hear you over there. <laughs> oh my God. Hey, guys. Wait, I was saying. His name is Reginald. I was about to tell a story. What was it? About Brad's car. Oh, well, that can wait. No, no, you're cool. You're both cool. I love you. Everyone is cool. Ren kind of reminds me of like a smarter Yosuke okay. from Persona 4. I fire down the way, but Nona wanted to play Beach Nanny, so. Uh, yeah. Everyone, this is Jonas. Jonas? Everyone. Must introduce him. Hey. Hi. And Jonas, that's- Who are you again? Jonas. 
He's Alex's new in town, fresh as the daisy stepbrother. Stepbrother? Really? Yeah, I know. It's a trip, right? Uh, yeah, he's a cool guy from cool North Valley, so let's all try and show him a good time. <laughs> Just the beach and some beer will be enough, I'm sure. Wait, wait, wait. You're Jonas. Jonas, the stepbrother. Yeah. Um, what's your name again? That is Clarissa. How but are she's... you her stepbrother? Like, what? <laughs> what does that even mean? Uh... I'll give you three guesses. <laughs> <laughs> Her mom's getting remarried, that's all. She's getting remarried to a guy, and that's the guy's son, so... Domino... What's the tension? Yeah, well, I guess this is happening now. This is a thing that is happening, so... <sighs> Where's everyone else? Nicole had that tennis thing. And? Clarissa, we... <laughs> we took the last ferry. I thought more would show up, but... <laughs> oh my god, it's just Alex and her new stepbrother? Huh, that's it. That's who you brought. That's the group. Clarissa, seriously, who even invited you? <laughs> um, I did. Ren invited Nona, and Nona invited me. Though, begged me would maybe be the better way to put it. Uh, I didn't. I didn't really beg. Wait, aren't you all, like, friends? I'm friends with Nona, and I'm downgrading Ren to, like, a creepy neighbor. And you, I just met. <laughs> yeah. Well, sorry. Wow, she's I a dick. I accept your apology. What did I do? You see, Jonas, normally this is like a 20 deep rager, but Pat had a party last weekend and... And a bunch of kids got caught TPing the school. But this is great, right? We're on Edwards Island. Forget those losers who couldn't handle the weekend, who didn't think we could make it, who lost my invitation, who had to go Faster. on there. We've been hearing about this for years, <laughs> and now we are going to do it. This is going to be a... Oh. See, that's why I was waiting. I thought maybe we could hear out the whole story there. I didn't know I was going to actually interrupt him. But this is interesting. We've got an interesting dynamic of characters. Hmm. Clarissa's a dick, so that's cool. Um, Nona seems fine. Seems like she would feel a bit awkward, like, being there on her own without Clarissa. So. Okay. So we're here for, like, you know. Fire. Man's great equalizer. Teen cool so things. So what's nah, nah. the, um, what's the, like... Thing to do here. Set ourselves on fire. Other than obviously go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. Absolutely. Well, I'm up for pretty much whatever, so. Hey, where does that old woman live? Dude. Oh, you mean Maggie Adler? Yeah. Nowhere. Hey. She's dead. What? Fuck. Yep, killed over three days ago. It was all over the news. <laughs> Local news, anyway. Oldest living resident. Bummer. Hmm. That's sort of a bummer. Yeah, well, we all gotta go sometime. In her case, later than sooner. And to answer your previous question, Jonas. The thing to do is lay on the beach and drink till you can't remember where you are. Why are you such a dick, though? And sometimes play truth or slap. Yeah, let's play that. We can inaugurate Jonas. Ease him into the night's festivities. Isn't it, a uh, truth or dare? This is better than truth or dare because nobody ends up licking somebody's butthole. What if that's what you I want to do? The question. You have to tell the truth, but if somebody can prove that you lied, the accuser gets to slap you. It's a good, uh, getting to know somebody game. <laughs> Unless you lie a lot. Yeah, fun. Any excuse to hit one? <laughs> okay. I'm the truthiest truth, whoever All truth, right, uh... let's just get on with it. Okay, so, first, we're I'll gonna... I'll start. Ren. Uh-huh. <laughs> Come on, fess up. You want to go out with Nona, right? Clarissa! Wait, wait, wait. I want to hear his answer. Uh... It's just, I mean, go out could mean so many different things. Look, it's tough to gauge. Uh, something like... <laughs> Enough stalling. I know you want to sample the goods, now no. just face it. I mean, I, oh my god. I, I like her as a friend, I'm gonna right? sit the fuck down. That's, I just like her as a friend. <laughs> that's, that's all. She's cool. She's... She's just a friend. Oh, yeah. Let's ease off the throttle for the next one, okay, Clarissa? Relax. Yeah. What? This game isn't any fun if you don't get a stomachache. Okay, it's Ren's turn, right? He gets to ask somebody something. Alex, Alex, Alex! <laughs> Uh-oh. I just have to think about which nerve I want to so delicately pick. Lay it on me. Oh, please. Shoot, I can take it. I can take it. Mary, screw, kill. Me, Nona, and Clarissa. Why? <laughs> it's fun. It's funny, I don't know. Okay. And Jonas is family now, technically. Marry so you? Excluded. Well, I think I'd marry you, actually. Okay. We know each other the best, so... Oh, oh I know good. what I'm gonna Perfect. do. Stay at home husband. <laughs> <laughs> I okay, say you're going down the line. Let's be real. <laughs> Nona, she seems like she'd be present and giving. I'm not <laughs> here. Hey, I'm present. 
I wouldn't lose my place or nothing. Scout's honor. <laughs> oh, God, this is such a horrible turn. Which, of course, <laughs> yeah. means that you strangle Clarissa in her sleep if you ever got the Yeah, chance. probably. What a shocker. <laughs> eh, she got what was coming to her. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you did shove her into the community pool in sixth grade. <laughs> I did, didn't I? I was a hilarious kid. Nona's been oddly quiet. So, Alex's turn? Nona! Yep. Lady's choice. What's up? Alex gets to pick who to ask something of. Oh, great. Here we go. What's your favorite stuffed animal? Nona! Nona! <laughs> yes. All right. Let's, oh, she's uh, cute. Something uh, fun and neat. So, me. does Clarissa ever do anything that just, like, really annoys the crap out of you? Controversial. <laughs> Think carefully now. Um, you sometimes tap your nails on things when you're uh, bored. <laughs> what? I barely do that. <laughs> what, that's it? Come on, didn't she get to like second base with your cousin or something? <laughs> hey, he kissed me on the cheek when he was six on the swing. Still counts. That counts. Filth. Um, yes, no. Ren. You're up. Oh, uh, Clarissa. If you had to get a tattoo, what would it be? Hmm. A chick riding a motorcycle on fire. A dolphin, right? Or a butterfly with like a Native American poem written above it. I get, like, <laughs> She's taking the piss. On my ring finger. I think I actually am gonna get that after I move out. So Amber Sand can't say no. Neat. Clarissa's turn now. Alex, you got a new brother. Oh god. Pretty exciting. Here we go. I'm sure Jonas is excited, or maybe excited isn't the right word. Maybe a little overwhelmed. But just okay, everything. What do you know? want? Unsure. It's a lot to take in and adjust to. Is there, like, a question coming, or what? I'm just saying what Jonas is already thinking. That statistics show if you get divorced once, you're probably gonna get divorced again. Do you fancy me or and something? the fact is, your mom divorced your dad, so... Let's put his mind at ease and hear why. Okay, just get to whatever point this is getting to. The point is, why'd your parents get a divorce? Can I throw it at just her? Just so Jonas can hear it from you. Clarissa, I don't really care why they got a divorce, just that Alex's mom- You know why. Michael died and it broke everything and they couldn't handle it. The end. Well, now you know, Jonas. Don't die and everything will be fine. You're such a knob. Okay, Clarissa, you- What? You know, guys, honestly, I think I'm pretty much ready to do anything else besides this game. Yeah. Wait, let's- let's not stop like <laughs> this. Go. We should- like, Come on, Nona, no, let's go I'm make on. out. And to celebrate, I'm gonna sit on the beach and drink and One. maybe, if I'm feeling spicy, even take a nap. Maybe we can. And get... that's exactly what Nona's gonna do too. Fine, whatever. Be Miss Pouty on the beach all night if you want. I'm not gonna let you ruin this for me. Yeah, I appreciate dick. your permission to be Pouty. Thank you. Cheese. If you guys in your scavenger <laughs> no, hunt no. or playing Ring Around the Rosie happen to find anything more interesting than a slowly dying starfish, you be sure to just let me know. Okay. Super. Uh, if we find anything more interesting than that, I think we'll be too involved in our own fun to come get you. Well, wouldn't you know it, that's just fine by me. You're so, like... Well, I want to inaugurate this bitch by checking out the caves. No, no, want to come? Uh, I mean, I would, I'm but... very clingy, Ren. <sighs> <sighs> fine. Fuck? Jonas, you're a strapping young lad. Help boost me over the fence. The cave's just, uh, yonder. And I guess you expect me to just jump over after? But like I said, you're a strapping young lad. Okay, come on. Hey! Where are you from again? It's a small town near North Valley. Oh yeah, is it nice? If you like bars on the windows. My favorite. Oh. Alex, Jonas? you wanna check out the caves, or...? Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. Boost me up? Yeah, come on. Okay, let's go. Hut! Come on, I'll push you up. Oh, oh, I forgot. We huh? Whenever talked about you're Dora. ready. Oh, what? Oh, so, the cave. What's your bets? On a scale of 1 to 10, how weird's it gonna be? Pretty weird. It's Ren, so definitely 10. He gets excited easily, but he has the concentration of a goldfish. Same. The fact that he keeps demanding we see it must mean something. Alright. <laughs> Alright. I like you, Jonas. Hey, Chris it seems to be her normal annoying self. Sorry about that. Aww. Eh, it's not your fault. Aww. I think somebody dumped pig's blood on her in a previous life, <laughs> and now she just wants to get ahead of the curve. <laughs> yeah, probably. Oh, Thanks Red, for, it's alright. Uh, not ratting me out to Nona during the, uh, the game. I didn't think you would, but, you know, you could've, nah. and you didn't, so thanks. 
Well, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't throw you in the deep end or anything. Not like a certain person who yelled at Andrew Finnegan about a certain junior high dance right in the middle of gym class. That was a joke, and he agreed, so no regrets. Now, who's ready to have their minds blown? Aww. If you don't mean that literally, I am... Me, me, me. Oh, wait, actually, I almost forgot. Gonna take a little magic trip to Cupcake Town. Excuse Those me? Those look like brownies. Brownie Town. Magic? What does that mean? We're it gonna play dumb. Enhanced with certain qualities. There's a pot brownies, hmm. aren't they, buddy? Maybe just don't eat too much. No promises. Hmm. Delicious. Was that just in your pocket? Okay, so see these little piles of rocks? The kids before us always leave them here, so you know where to try and tune in the signals. So you're gonna want to stand basically right around here. Okay. And just tune the dial left or right until you start hearing some weirdness. Okay. All right, let's go. How will we know when it's? This is Morse code. Holy crap. Wow, it's even cooler than I thought it would be. This is insane. What is it? What's doing it? Maybe the tuning's like unblocking a weather balloon or something? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Let's go. Well, it's just crazy then, because I don't know. I want to see. around, it kind of changes too, I think. Like... Over at this pile. Here, come over here and try it. Oh, the Morse code again this and that. Is so cool. Wow, fun. Clarissa and Nona should see this, right? I mean, I know it's like weird with you guys or whatever for some reason, but they they're fine with it. <laughs> okay, just what is Clarissa's issue with you two? Yeah. She dated Michael for five seconds, like three years ago. Oh. It was for a couple of months, a year and a half ago. <sighs> she should just seriously get over it already. Clarissa's the kind of person who doesn't feel full unless she's pissed at somebody, <laughs> <Let's> so... <laughs> Brownies are kicking in. Did that make sense? Are you... okay? I think so. Now, there's another <laughs> cool spot, <laughs> I think, okay. over here. Okay. All right, buddy. Whatever you say. You want to bring it on over, dude? I just followed you like straight away. Definitely Morse code. Definitely don't understand it. Sounds, so, yeah, it sounds. Uh, it's freaking me out a little. I'm not gonna yeah. say Satan. I'm not bringing Satan into this. Wait, what was that? Satan. No, Jonas, don't do it, Jonas! There's like, this is gonna sound stupid, but there's like something in here. Famous last words. Famous last. No, I see it too. I'm sure it's just there is something <laughs> in there, like a giant rabies-filled bat, or a maniac who wears mannequin wigs. Yes. Or it kind of looks like a pool or something, like a freshwater one maybe. Let's check it out. Are we gonna? It's not that far in. <laughs> if it's a pool, that'd be cool. I. Um, didn't mean that to rhyme. <laughs> <laughs> cool pool. <laughs> Fortune favors the bold. <laughs> Literally not <laughs> Wait for uh, me! Jonas! Let's well, go! I am going to just rest against here. Because I think... Shh, I think I mismeasured the magic. <laughs> I can hear him really loud in my ears. I can hear, like, the sound of his mouth, like... Oh, Nona's so cute! <laughs> Clarissa, why are you such a dick? We're gonna have to find out, um... That's a cute picture. We're gonna have to find out why Clarissa's such a knobhead. Because she is! Um, she must have some issue with me. Maybe I didn't get on with my bro. Maybe I said to my bro that Clarissa's a knob. Then she'd probably avoid. Or maybe Clarissa's responsible for my bro's death. Jonas! Jonas! Jonas, Jonas you wiener, where are ya? Lad! Jonas, seriously, I don't have time. 
Oh my god, am I about to rock climb? Holy hell. I don't think I have the strength to rock climb. I think I would die within seconds. Let's meander over here. And hopefully Jonas is doing something completely normal and we went around the corner and he'll have his head in his ass or something. Let's go over here. Jonas! Pumpkin, sweetie, darling. I am climbing! Oh, is it in my mouth? Am I, like, Lara Crofting this right now? You are so cool. You are the coolest person ever. Okay, let's hop down here. And mosey on over here. Oh, maybe it's shining out of my breasts. I'm not entirely sure. Anyway. Jump! Jonas, seriously, where are you? Where are you, buddy? <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> <laughs> Jonas, please don't be doing anything weird or creepy or be dead. I'd really rather you weren't dead. I am curious about Clarissa. I am curious about our relationship with her. Because she seems, like, unnecessarily horrifyingly prickly for absolutely no reason evident to us right now. She kind of reminds me of Victoria Chase a bit from Life is Strange, but she's, like, more unnecessarily mean. Victoria's, like, more pathetic. Why would a guy bring an ashtray down here? Or a pen? Hopefully, it's just Jonas's. An ashtray and a pen. Did someone, like, try and write down an ashtray? That's like they're hanging out there, though. Why would you bring an ashtray? You're conscientious of ash getting on the stone? Like, anyone's gonna care? I mean, really? If you're gonna smoke in the middle of a cave, like, <laughs> no one's gonna mind. See a man about a dog. Sure, will do. Alright. You okay? You okay? Jesus, you scared me. <laughs> Oh, I scared you? You scared me. I had no idea where you were. Whoopsie. I'm sorry for going ahead. I thought I thought I heard somebody down here, but you know, obviously there isn't. Spook warning. But isn't this place incredible? Yeah, man. I, mean, I don't even know how this how this happens. No, it's uh, it's beautiful. No. See? That's what I heard. It sounds like a person almost, right? <laughs> Not really. Kinda? I don't know where it's coming from. What could that be? Let's just go on with it. Sounds of the ocean bouncing off the walls? Beats me, I failed geology. <sighs> there was a light in here somewhere. I still want to see what made it. It must just be further in. Let's try and find it before we go back. <laughs> Seeing as how I crawled in here to get you, might as well make the most of it. <laughs> this was like yeah. a bad idea. <laughs> Look, if it's cool, we can get the others. And if it's not, we'll just leave. All right. Oh, don't die. Is it- is it- I don't know anything about, like, choices mattering or not, so please, I hope, like, <laughs> that this is fine and we're not making a terrible decision. China, let's just stay alive, okay? We can hold hands if you want. As if they'll minimize your chances of death, but, you know, we're just gonna go for it. Ah! Like, what is this made out of? Is it ice? No uh, idea. Pot, what? Oops. Wow, how is that? Did- did you see the floating- um, triangle light thing? Oh, I see it! Um, yes. It, it must be like a, like a rainbow, or like a reflection of light? Those, um, exist, right? Um, cave, triangle rainbows? Sure, why not? Let's go with that, for the time being. Saw the man, not the dog. What the crap does that mean? A guy who can't see dogs? Did you see the first half? See a man about a dog? Yeah, I don't get it either. I think this is all tied to when you tuned in those weird signals out there in the, um... Apart from the, um, Oh, we, tu we tuned triangle? into a little guy? This is honestly the craziest thing in here. Like, how did he even get in? And I mean, aside from some, like, water damage, it's not really even that junky. I know. Try your radio. Maybe that's like a frequency or something. Like if it'll have an effect. Yeah, good idea. Maybe it'll dance or twitch or something. I'm spooked! Let's do it. Come on. Radio time. Dude. Alex, really, I want to see what it's going to do. Oh. Oh! Oh, it's red! Look, it's red! Oh boy! Oh my god! Whoa! This, are you? Is this you? Wait! Why did you stop? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm 
I'm sorry. I just I got confused. All right, well let's do it again. I want to see it again. Okay, so we just sit here. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. I can't even like what is what? I know. I I know. Ooh. Hi. Okay. Is insane. Uh, who are are you? Who are you on the? Listen, Bob Tail. Shave Tail. Sleeping time. Hi. Bob to me talking to me because of my ponytail. Um, uh, maybe, but I, I don't. They're trying to leave whatever dimension they're in. Bob to leave children. Bye. Oh. Alex. Jonas. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? <gasps> <gasps> oh my gosh! It's the ghosts of the people who died in the thing. Oh, nipples. Okay. All right. Okay! Alright, great, good, my favorite. I love nipples. I mean, dying people on boats. No, mmm, not good. So they're like, like, uh, like the people who died on that thing that they were talking about right Alex. at the beginning. Alex! Yes, that's me. Hello? Where are we? <laughs> Alex? Are you okay? <laughs> you alright? I thought you. I think so. <laughs> so <there> I am. <laughs> God. Are you okay? Yeah, I think. Look, I'm just gonna cut to the whatever. Like, I don't know exactly what happened back there, but the sign says that's an old communications tower, and I don't know about you, but I want to climb that ladder, call somebody, and get the hell back home as fast as possible. Uh, don't touch that, please. <laughs> I really prefer not telling your mom that you're dead. She might not take too well to the news. How do you know it even works? It works. Let's just use oh. the tower and try and phone somebody. Oh, he got barbecued? No, I'm way ahead of yeah. you. Yeah. There's gotta be some kind of emergency station or way to get out without taking the ferry. Oh, enough for nothing. I'm fine with a little de pantsing or whatever if the weather's right for it. But if this is some sort of prank or trick, I'm really, really not in the mood. Jonas, what? Pardon Tower. You think a prank to the border I, I think because the radio man who watched it, he was Major Richard Harden. I don't know why I remember that. <laughs> Wait, the guy's name was Major Dick Harden? <laughs> <laughs> yep. It almost makes the whole trip worth it, doesn't it? I wouldn't go that far. Okay. Ah, uh, I need to like think about what is happening. I mean, this is uh, they're not gonna die, are they? That's not what's gonna happen, right? That's not gonna happen, is it? Because if it is, I'm gonna be so upset. Oh no, I'm not ready. Jonas, I really like you. Okay, don't <laughs> don't die, buddy, please. Please, buddy, don't die! Alright, so let's go and... I'm gonna try and communicate with someone, but first, the view. I can see the cave, but not Ren or anybody. Mm -hmm. What do you think happened to them? I think they're dead! No, I don't know what happened. Um... They're just being lame. I can hear Ren now. Let's go to the fort and throw rocks at walls. <laughs> Great. Let's go to the fort. Let's try the door. Yeah! Okay, it didn't work out. Locked. Bugger. Let me try. Go on, man. Oh, after you. Oh, why, thank you.
Oh. That's cool. I thought he was just gonna like, Hah! like try and bust it and they were gonna make some joke like, haha, yeah, you can't open the door either. But no! No! He can lock pick. See? Oh my. And me without my camera. Oh god, shut up. <laughs> wow. I feel like I'm not actually, I was gonna try, I was being genuine. I feel like I can't tell when they're gonna be sarcastic, which is kind of like, man. Thing? Is, um, is anyone there? Satan! Satan's there. It's, um, dead. Cool. Alright. get anyone? Nope. No. I don't think so. There's a dial tone, but there's a note here. Does not call out. Please dial station code for service. There wouldn't happen to be a code there, would there? Nada. Well, apparently we don't- nope. Apparently we don't know the code. Is there a code we can find? Jesus. Oh, tits. Okay. Oh, there we go. <coughs> <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Alex? Alex? Is that- Yeah, it's me. Oh, Jesus, Hoppin' Christ, thank Vishnu. I- you guys went into that hole and a bunch of stuff. I have no idea what happened. I just woke up like 15 minutes ago. I- I saw the light on in the, uh, the tower thing. Hey, did you know that it's named after some guy named Dick Harden? <laughs> <laughs> Ren, how are you calling us? Phones don't work here. It's- it's a code written on this list here. But it's not a normal phone. I can't call out. I'm at, uh, the way station or whatever in the woods. It's been like, like, just the worst thing ever. Just DEFCON fuchsia level terrible ever since you went into the cave. Like, worse than Kendall's Ren, face. are you alright? <laughs> Physically alright, because I know mentally you're no, probably... No, I'm not alright! I mean, do I sound alright or do I sound not alright? I probably sound You don't see sounds fine. Wait, I, I, I think that's the other line. Maybe it's like a night watchman or something. Wait, they... Ren, someone's calling on the other line. Just hold on a minute. I'm gonna see who it is. Okay, but make it quick, seriously. Hello? Oh, Jesus Christ, Alex? Why are you answering it? This, it says it's an emergency line. Where are you right now? Clarissa. And Clarissa's <laughs> with you. Of course he is. Okay, if you're gonna yell at me, goodbye, Clarissa. <laughs> oh, really? Fine. I'm at Fort Milner with a working intercom if you care. God, goodbye, Alex. <laughs> Ren? Just pick me up, okay? Just come and pick me up. I'm really not great. Like, this is not a drill. This is real world. I Do just you know where Nona is? No, no clue. Okay. Is the phone again? Don't click over. Clarissa might need something. It's Clarissa. Hold on, Ren. Clarissa's <laughs> flipping out about something. God, okay. I'm flipping out about something. Yeah, okay, what is it? Hello? I'm trying to call somebody, but... I'm in a room with radio stuff that can, it says it can contact Kamina, but I don't, I have no idea how to make it work. Alright. Can you just come over here and figure this out with me? I don't care if <sighs> Alright, so it seems like we're trying to choose right now between going and grabbing Ren or going and grabbing Clarissa. And <laughs> I don't want to pick between, I don't want anyone to like, to like get pwned, man. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Ooh. If she's gonna die, I'll feel so bad leaving her. I will feel so bad leaving her. But you guys want to she's a dick. Just, just, you have a radio. Work it out for yourself. <laughs> Ren needs my help. We're a massive Goodbye. asshole. <laughs> Ren? Goodbye. Up, okay, just come and pick me up. I'm really not great. Okay, we need well, to go Alex, get him. Just whatever you do, this is vitally important now. Heed the words. Heed these words. Just whatever you do. Don't- And it dies, ladies and gentlemen. It's like the world is conspiring against us, I swear to god. Clarissa, you still there? Oh crap, they're all dead. Okay. She hung up too. Of course. So, wanna truck over to Milner first, see about that radio? I mean, Clarissa can be a handful, but gotta take the bitter with the sweet. Uh! It sounded kind of more out of sorts than usual. I don't know. Look, I'm gonna leave it up to you. We can swing through the forest and nab Ren, or we can go to the fort and see what Clarissa's up to. They're your people. You can decide. Ren needs us more. 
And he'd kill me if he knew we went to see Clarissa first. Sound logic. <laughs> and they're opposite directions! Okay, I guess we just we just go left, right? We just go down and then we go left. Oh nipples. Alright, okay. Alright, let's figure out how to turn off this electrified fence. Kickstart this rescue mission like the uh total badasses we are. Yeah. Righteous. Let's turn the shit off. Fence should be off now. Yes! But um don't take offense if I want to throw a stick at it first. Why would I be offended? Well, I will, and have taken offense <laughs> at your not believing in my ability at flipping switches. Oh man, that was tough. Okay, I really hope that decision didn't mean anything and that everything is gonna be fine and we're all handy dandy and hunky dory. Ah, oh, but what is up with Clarissa? I feel bad. I feel bad. I'm just kind of going by logic right now. Like, logically we have a good alliance with Ren, so I'm just gonna go and pick him up. I know he's high, but he's like, we're really close to him. And if Wasser Face is in a place with a radio, well, it seems like she's probably in a safe place, whereas Ren is in the middle of buttfuck nowhere, so that's kind of mostly why it makes logical sense. Probably should have thrown something about that um, at the thing first. Okay, so Harden Tower or Epiphany Field. Let's go to Epiphany Fields. Oh, I hope this is fine. I don't hate her. I don't hate Clarissa, really. I just think, you know, she just ain't okay, is she? In oh, no. my ah. <laughs> decisions, please. Okay. Oh, how are you doing? How are you uh, doing? I'm fine, I guess. Why? Uh, cause everything's crazy, you know. So, just making sure your shoes are still on your feet. They are. They are. How are you? Uh, could be better, okay. but we'll get through this and on to bigger and better. Okay. Good talk. Oh, fuck. Okay, let's go to the grove. Oh, man. I wonder if, like, if we'd never gone into the cave, what would be happening right now? Oh, interesting. Okay. I, um, didn't realize just how much woods there were. This is like a... Like a genuine forest. It's... Yeah, it's like, what, 20 square miles or something? It's like half the island. Yeah, I thought it was just gonna be a park or something. There is a park, but it's part of the woods. But I just want to make sure, you know, that we know where we're going. We do know where we're going, right? Um, vaguely. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I remember you know, that. <laughs> this place really creepily reminds me of a park or woods, I guess, near where I used to live. It's really kind of felt just like this. It's weird. Oh, yeah? What was that one called? Hmm. Peabody, I think. I'm trying to remember the sign, but like half the letters had fallen off, so it spelled pea pork. <laughs> My dad was really happy to move here, you know? He said the schools were safer, less knife things per capita. Oh, that's reassuring. I guess you never considered the danger of whatever's happening right now. But, you know, everything's got something. Yeah, we once had a mall Santa who was kidnapping kids. I think that's been so far the scariest thing that's happened. That's fucking well, terrifying. To be fair, that does sound pretty scary. Yes. Okay, this looks like we can interact with this, maybe? Oh, you got me good! <laughs> just a useless log! Okay, thank you. Thank you for that. That's really awesome. I really like the art style. I really do. I probably said that already, but it's pretty. I like these trees, man. They look luscious. And I really hope this is the right thing to do. Because I like Ren. Oh, that's a... That's a puzzle. This thing's so weird looking. Apparently it's 400 years old. It's just a bit bendy. There's a cafe in town named after it. Bendy tree. And next on the tour of Edwards Island... An old bush. Yeah, no, you're right. Who cares? History, am I right? I'm not making fun. It's just... It's a tree. That's true. He's right. It's a tree. What if it's the best tree? Toby Woods. Can I... Am I supposed to climb up here? Am I supposed to go through the woods and go up somewhere? I don't have a hat. I just go through here. 
Hopefully this is the right direction. Go to bridge stand. Oh, dude, I hope you're okay. Don't be dead, don't be dead, don't be dead, don't be dead. Oh my lord. Lots of woods to go through. Luckily, it's very beautiful. But yeah, okay, so I'd like to know what's going on. It seems like people died in that boat accident thing. And, um... And they want to know if it's safe to come out, right? Are they are the oxen free? Um, why is there a cable car here? I don't know. Couldn't they have just made like, just like a normal bridge with wood. Yeah, it doesn't really look safe, does it? It looks less than <laughs> welcoming, or at least it doesn't look very inviting. Or maybe there's another way. There has to be. I mean, it's the woods. There's no way to begin with. We make our own. Okay. Oh, check out the smallest cemetery in the Pacific Northwest. Literally, it's from the 1800s. Jesus, I thought that was a pet cemetery. I'm kind of relieved, this island's depressing enough. <laughs> Let's go and have a little gander what's behind the door. Because it looks occupied, holy shit! Power transfer station 167. Oh. Is there anybody in here? Hello? Okay, that's a little strange. Whoa! Why wouldn't they lock it? Yeah, no. I mean, somebody should have locked it, right? Um, maybe there's no need? Like there's nothing here to steal or something? Alright, I'll go with that just because... What else am I going to do? Okay. I found the circuit breaker. Wait, like the first thing it says is beware of overload. Do not attempt restart without supervision. Um, so I don't know. Terrific, you'll be my supervisor. Supervisor Jonas. So what does it say to do? Just... Let me do it. <laughs> that way, if something bad happens, you know. Uh, okay. Thanks. No problem. It's just that you know, kind of, your way around here. You know Ren. If someone were to get electrocuted, it should be me, right? It makes some kind of circus sense. All right. Um, well. I thought he was going to do it because he knew. Ah! Because he knew kind of what to do. I don't know. Is this even the right Hallelujah! It's the only thing. If this doesn't work, there's nothing else. Oh, hell. The lamp's flickering. Do you think it's like on backup power now or something? Uh, might be, but I don't know. Oh. Reason, it reminds me of the cave. Let's just try to get the power on, all right? Everything about this is making my skin crawl. <laughs> Good, I didn't need sleep anyway. Bye. Oh god, fuck, what are you? That's... That's... God, I haven't heard this in forever. This is something my mom used to- I am so tired of this funhouse bullcrap. May have pooped. May have pooped this much. May have pooped this much. <clears throat> may- Okay, the door is also gonna open itself! That's my favorite. Yeah, may have released the tiniest of turds. But, um... Uh, was that there before? Well, I'm sitting on it. Alex, are you all right? Ah! Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Not dick. funny. Not funny. Opposite. Total opposite of funny. Look up. <laughs> I'm sorry. I. I to. <laughs> so terrible. <laughs> so terrible. What a night. Let's go over Thanks. here. We surely won't die. Yeah. Sorry about this. No, no, I'm not. Um. I'm not saying it like Bridgestand it's campground. anyone's fault. It's nobody's fault. It just happened. Stuff happens. Yeah, you're right. Stuff happens. It just sucks that we'll be all the right. stuff that's happening is like really terrifying and annoying. Mmm. Indeed. Let's make our way downtown. Or uptown, I should really say, because we're going up. 
So, yeah, there you go. What is that? That looks like something on the on the right over there. Let's go and try and pick that up. It might be something useful. Um, I mean, I don't know what a useful object would be in this in this place. Oh, good. It's, it's fucking nothing. Let's move on. And maybe play a little bit of leapfrog over here. Like, I would be scared to do those jumps. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm, like, mega scared of, like, anything remotely athletic. It's That's, uh... I don't know, Catbird Station? Okay. I mean, call sign is weird. 60.8? The dial doesn't go that far. Huh. Alright, well... Bye. <laughs> oh, but if it was his mum, isn't that, like, super creepy? Humming like a barracuda. Ooh. Barracudas don't hum. Says you, man. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Get on in, buddy. Let's go. Oh god, okay. Well, if that isn't nightmare-inducing, I don't know what is. Hopefully that won't break halfway through. Hmm. More fucking woods! It didn't collapse. I know, That's miracles happen. One good thing that happened tonight. Yep. Yay. You used to come here a lot as a kid, right? To the islands. I mean, I mean, that's what Ren made it sound like. Yeah. With my brother. With Michael? Yeah? Like, with your mom and dad, or...? Sometimes mom and dad, but mostly just him and me. Well, that's cool. Like he's, like he'd be babysitting you and he'd bring you out here? That's nice of him. He could have just stayed home, you know? It wasn't like that. We were, like, best friends. It's not like he was being forced to do it. He wanted to do it. We liked hanging out together. Oh, I mean, I didn't mean... Yeah, yeah, of course. Mm. Some people camp here, but it's weird. I, I don't know why they just leave their tent. Looks kind of dumpy. Like... Someone took a dump. Know, like it's been abandoned. Yeah, I can see this place being cool, like, in the summer, or even in the spring. You got the park... You got the main street shops. Yeah. It's pretty nice. It can be pretty nice when the the conditions are right, you know? So I'm beginning to think that Clarissa was jealous of their relationship or something. Uh Okay, bollocks, used what to now? Come here a lot as a kid, right? To the island. I mean I mean that's what Ren made it sound like. Uh yeah. I only mention it because my family trips were awful. My mom would always Fire's insist there. on going to Missouri every single year. A fire's oh, there. I mean, it was all we could afford, but still, that's a long. <laughs> Why was it so? Let's bad? play along. Wait, wasn't this? We passed this a minute ago, right? And it wasn't burning. I am um, honestly don't remember. Yeah. So, anyways. I think places are pretty much what you make of them, you know? And not the other way around. Yeah, I think I agree. It's just a theory, anyway. It's just a theory! A game theory! Okay, what's going on? You used to come here a lot as a kid, right? What? To the island. I mean, I mean, that's what Ren made it sound like. Something is... Something's wrong. We've already done this, like... <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Done what? Because um, I don't remember any of this. Jonas, seriously? You don't remember? You keep asking me if I came here as a kid a lot. Again and again. Um, okay. I mean, if you say so, but like, I don't even know what you're saying. What are you saying? <sighs> are we lost? Or is it something else? We keep repeating this one moment for some <sighs> reason. God, can't things stay normal for like two friggin' seconds? Well, it's more than a little troubling that I can't tell besides a uh, headache I've only just noticed, but okay, let's deal with this now, sure. Oh, boys. This is, uh, new. Ah, oh, it's, it's kind of weird. I oh, had the exact same kind when I was a kid. What's going on? Why would a toy company make two, right? Shut up. Oh, love the jokes. Keep it up. See what happens. <laughs> Yes. Oh, I need to drink more milk or something. Jeez. Jeez. <laughs> um. Who 
Who's there? I'm taking a picture of the ball moving, not your kicking, just so you know. Bye! Maybe don't Good night. antagonize whoever. Good night. I'm dead. Good night. I think they have a sense of humor. Oh, what's that? Don't wanna play anymore? Gonna kick it in my head. Oh, oh spooky! <laughs> Can't do that oh him. my god. Alex, can you believe this? <sighs> my doctor's not going to be happy with my blood pressure this year. Yeah, mine neither. What is that? Yes, I think we're dealing with ghosts. Just a hunch. Maybe. What else could it be? I mean, really. At least none of this is normal. We can agree I on... would say ghosts, okay, I would. But what about the weird repeating stuff? You're not remembering what we've been doing? That, that, yeah. I don't know about that. More importantly, why is the wall leaking Vegemite? Why? Why is it leaking? I don't understand. I have fortified these walls for years and not once have they decided to leak. Anyway, let's move on, shall we? Stop it! Okay, I'm done. Okay. This is, this is gonna be fine. Let's just work through it. Work through it. <laughs> oh, Alex, you're really cool, okay? Alex is a really cool person, all right? I would, <laughs> I'd be on the floor weeping right now. Oh, is that mine? Is that a teddy bear of mine or something? Oh, don't. Don't be like this, yeah? Oh, we're like in a pocket of time. This is like a campground that me and my bro used to be at. Oh, that's what's happening! Don't be like this! Oh, dead people! No, 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 no! Ah, oh, it's fucking me! Whoa, wait, what? What's happening? Whoa. What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Don't. Tell Fuck. Michael to break up with Clarissa. It's for the best. What? But Michael's dead. How could I even... Wait, wait, we've done this before. Okay, uh, there's <laughs> got to be a way out. Uh, it's alright, we must have just missed, um, something. <laughs> I, um, it was weird. You were gone for a minute. I did this, I did the repeat thing again, and my reflection talked to me. Peace out. Talked to you? What, uh... What did it say? Or was it, like, anything you could even... It said that I should tell Michael to break up with Clarissa. Which is, of course, totally useless advice for a doppelganger, since Michael's still totally dead. You know, at some point, this is all gonna make sense. I just hope it happens before we leave. So, right. Did that actually happen? Did she actually... Tell someone to tell Michael to break up with Clarissa, and is that why Clarissa's so pissed? Or was Clarissa the reason why Michael died, and that's why Ghosty is like, Yo, what's up? Get Michael to break up with Clarissa, because he's gonna die. This is... It's just like the armoire in the cave. What? Super duper old, but in, like, new condition. It's one of those, um, magnetophones, I think they're called. Or some other reel-to-reel -reel thing from the 40s. Why would it be here? Board now. <laughs> All right. Diddly 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 diddly. Is that a song that I know? Is it gonna repeat itself again? Actually, let's try playing it the other way. La 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 la. Ah ha! All right. Doesn't matter what way I play. Okay. Well, that's dull. Bye. Maybe I'm playing it too fast. Okay, let's try playing it at a certain speed. You know, I didn't realize I felt like a pressure in my I head see. until right now. Maybe doing that fixed the loop. 
whatever you did helped something, I think. Uh, feel any better? Maybe... Remember all the times we trekked through here now? No, not really. I mean, I remember the ball thing, but that... I guess that didn't just happen, right? Oh I man! I just woke up from a dream. Everything's so vague. Our Let's parents. Just keep going and get Ren. Our parents are talking to us right now, and it's fucking weird. Let's not do that, mum, dad. Ha ha ha! Please, let's not do that. You know that really freaks me out. Like, like on one hand, it would be so nice to receive some kind of like communication from like, from you know people who have passed away from your life. Like my my grandma died really recently. And that sucks. Um. This is really insane, Jonas. Like, the craziest thing that's happening to anyone right now is happening to us. <sighs> True, but... But... Nah, I couldn't think of anything to say. <laughs> what um, do you think they want? The, uh, the ghosts. Do they have to want anything? Just most of the time, don't they like... I mean, isn't that why they're trapped here or whatever? Because they didn't do something they needed to in life for... He's sweet. I don't know. This feels bigger than that. But maybe that's just because we're living it. I just hope they want to like play soccer every once in a while. And that's it. <laughs> yeah, so unlike my dad, uh, when I was very young, passed away. So on one hand, it would be super nice to get like communication from them but on the other hand it's like ah! <laughs> you know <laughs> it would just be so scary all right well come on there's gotta be something up here <laughs> all right boots it, gets it, boots it, gets it, boots it, gets it. go down the bridge hurry up buddy don't die, please. I'd be very, very sad. Okay, now we're gonna... I'm gonna die with you, okay? Come on, come on, come on! Okay. <laughs> Probably nothing will happen. But I'm really paranoid. Right, are we like... Oh. Lord have mercy, it's really... F okay, it's a little, a little further. We should be, like, there now, basically. Oh. Let's sit. Oh. <laughs> I remember this. Very appropriate. The two jacks are... The, uh... Jack Mitchell and Jack Ladd, they used to hang out together all the time. And they carved their names into this bench on a school trip once. You don't care, do you? No, please, keep going. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, on another school trip, they- Stop. <laughs> <laughs> She's cute. She's cute, she's just like kind of blunt. Uh, blunt, slightly awkward. It's like the shapings of like a- Someone who'll probably be really confident and cool. I don't know. I like her. They're pretty cool people, I think. Is that Nona? <gasps> Nona Lisa! Please don't actually, like, actually be you. Don't, don't, okay? Just don't move, okay? Don't come anywhere near me. Uh, Nona. Just don't move. What is it? What's wrong? Ooh. This night has turned banana bread <laughs> really fast. And I'm seeing things and forgetting things. Banana bread. And I bumped into you once already, and oh. it was horrible. So we're gonna take it a little slower. We're just not gonna say anything this time. So just look, you're not gonna talk about my grandfather. You're just gonna stand there politely and tell me if you've seen Clarissa. Cause I've been looking. Clarissa's no, at no, we haven't. But we uh, we're actually we're looking for Ren right now. So have you have you maybe what? seen him? No, not Ren. Okay, well... Hey, listen, Nona. You should come with us. Why are you lying? That way we're not all, you know, separated. I'm not going anywhere with you. Alright, okay, hey, I get it, I do. I'm jumpy right now too, but... Just hold up a second, Nona, okay? Yeah, can you just do us a favor? Can you just... Can you go to the comm tower and wait for us? We got the lights on there, and... It seems pretty safe. No, Nona, you should really come with us. It's better to stick together. Better for who? Nona, come on. For everyone, for all of us. No. <sighs> and the comm tower is where? It's the cloud buster at the edge of town. Can't miss it. And you. You're really you? Really? Yeah, Nona, it's me, Alex. Alright, bye. 
Hmm. That girl's a peach. <laughs> yeah, they're all kind of annoying, huh? They're just- I mean, she's like, probably confused as hell if she's experienced anything similar. And I mean, we have- I have Jonas that'll keep me calm. Uh, because we're both experiencing it at once. It's not like her who's on her own and seeing shit and being like, I've seen you before, but like, okay, you're weird. You know? So, um, relay point. Okay! Okay, that seems not the way to go, let's go! Go to the relay point! Alright, this picture is developing. Oh man, it's so spooky! Oh, it's ever so spooky! Oh man! Okay. I am going to end things here, ladies and gentlemen. I do hope that you have enjoyed what we have seen so far of uh, Oxen Free. I am so, like, spooked. Uh, I'm gonna- <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna do more of this. I wanna get to the end of this. Cause it's super interesting and weird. What do you think's going on right now? Leave your thoughts in the comments. I'm really enjoying it. Um... Yeah. If you enjoyed this video and you think that somebody else would enjoy it too, then be sure to share it with them, share it with your friends, share it with your mum, especially if you want to teach her about teenagers. That works, right? Subscribe if you'd like, check out stuff on my channel that you may have missed, but most importantly, take care of yourselves, and I will see you soon, my friends. Bye bye Ooh, hello. I could stab you. But instead, I am going to expand my titties at your students. Learn! Education is important! They don't always come at the end. We don't always know why. But if Joel's miracle doesn't come, I, I hope he lives. I always hope. Before I played this, I was perplexed that so many people had a gigantic boner over a skeleton in pyjamas named after a shitty font.